Welcome back. In the last two sections, we learned about the different types of components inside of a microcontroller. After looking at the CPU and memories, we turned our attention to peripherals. You learned that peripherals perform tasks that the other CPU is too busy to do or cannot do by itself. The first category of peripherals we looked at was timers. We learned that the role of the timer was to count a to a threshold typically set by your program. In this module, we will take a short look at the first timer you come across in a microcontroller, the watchdog timer. You can think of a watchdog timer just like you would think of a pet dog that guards your house. Let me show you an example. Let's pretend that you're the king or queen of a country with a very rich treasure. You decide to put the treasure inside your castle to keep it safe. Now, to make sure the treasure is safe in your castle, you hire a guard. Unfortunately, if the guard were to fall asleep, someone could sneak in and take all the treasure. Therefore, you buy a watchdog to make sure that everything is going according to plan. The guard is instructed to keep telling the watchdog that everything is okay. This way, if the guard were to fall asleep, well, the watchdog would know that something is wrong and would begin to bark. All the barking would wake up the guard, who would start over. In practice, security guards your program. The program's job is to make sure that everything is okay within your embedded system. The watchdog peripheral watches your program to make sure that everything is okay. What it actually is doing is it's counting 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Now the watchdog peripheral can't know everything, so it entrusts the program to make sure that everything is okay. And the way the program then lets the watchdog peripheral know that everything is going well is by petting it. Every time the program pets the watchdog, the watchdog peripheral begins counting over again. Zero, one, two, three. If the program ever fails to pet the watchdog, something might have gone severely wrong, and the watchdog timer will keep counting. For example, 904, 905, 906. Eventually, the watchdog timer will count up to its threshold that you specify in your program, indicating the watchdog timer peripheral has waited too long for the program to pet it. Well, in this case, the watchdog peripheral will bark a reset command to the microcontroller. The reset command will stop whatever your microcontroller is doing, and it attempts to start your program all over again. Hopefully, restarting your program will give your embedded system a better chance to figure out what went wrong. In summary, the watchdog timer peripheral will watch your program. It keeps a count to make sure that periodically the program is petting the peripheral to let the watchdog know that everything is OK. Up next, we'll take a look at how your program interfaces with this new watchdog timer peripheral.